Metropolol is a type of medicine called a beta blocker. Like other beta blockers, Metropolol works by slowing down your heart rate and making it easier for your heart to pump blood around your body. Metropolol does this by changing the way your body responds to some nerve impulses, especially in the heart. The brand name for Metropolol is Lepressor and Toprol XL. What is it used for? It is used alone or with other drugs to treat elevated blood pressure. It is also used to treat chest pressure or chest pain, also called angina. Another indication for this medication would be to treat heart failure. It can be also used to treat an irregular heart rate and heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation. It is also used after a heart attack to prevent future heart attacks. And it is used off-label to treat migraines or even an emergency endocrinological situation called thyrotoxicosis. In emergency situations, it is also used to treat acute heart arrhythmias. How is this drug taken? If you have the brand that contains metropolol tartrate, this can be taken with or just after a meal as it is absorbed better that way. If you're taking the brand metropolol succinate, this can be taken with or without food. Metropolol tartrate is typically administered in two to three divided daily doses and metropolol succinate is administered once daily. Metropolol comes as an immediate release and extended release tablets and an extended release capsule. Do not chew or bite these tablets as this can release the drug ingredients at once, increasing the chances of side effects. It comes in an injectable form as well, which a healthcare provider can use in a specialized setting like in the hospital or in emergency situations. If you're interested in another blood pressure medication called lisinopril, click on this link above. 17 tips to minimize or avoid metropolal side effects. During your treatment, some of these side effects may go away as your body adjusts to the medication. Number one, this drug is going to lower your blood pressure. This is called hypotension or lower your heart rate. This is called bradycardia. This might make you feel dizzy when you suddenly get up. Take your time when you're getting up, especially from a sitting position. Be careful when you're going up and down stairs. Number two, metropolol can affect your blood sugars. If you're a diabetic, continue to carefully monitor your blood sugars. Number three, metropolol can cause different types of heart blocks. These are rare but can happen. Your doctor will monitor for this by checking your vital signs and your physical examination. He or she also can get an EKG to monitor for any changes. Number four, metropolol can cause bronchospasms. Symptoms would be difficulty breathing and wheezing. Although, because of the way metropolol works, it works over a beta-1 receptor, the chances of this happening is less likely. However, if you have a bronchospastic disease such as asthma, you would be more susceptible to this. Tell your doctor if you do have increased cough, wheezing, or shortness of breath. Number five, beta blockers such as metropolol do have central nervous system effects. They can cause fatigue, insomnia, and in some cases, sleep disturbances. This is because beta blockers slow down your heart rate and you feel more tired and fatigued and your heart rate slows down. Because of this, you may want to take your first dose of metoprolol at nighttime as it can make you feel sleepy. Once you're used to the medication, you can switch to the morning with the help of your doctor. Number six, a beta blocker, like mentioned before, slows down your heart rate you are at an increased risk for depression. Your doctor during your annual examination will be not only checking your heart rate, but asking you questions regarding your mood. Number seven, avoid drinking alcohol while taking this medication. Number eight, beta blockers can cause weight gain. The average weight gain is about two pounds or just about one kilogram. If you are using this medication for heart failure, your doctor can advise you whether this is a medication side effect or related to your heart failure. Number nine, this drug can cause skin reactions or rashes. Usually in terms of numbers, it's less than 5% of all cases. Other skin problems include itching, gangrene of the skin and tissues, and loss of hair. It has been associated in the worsening of psoriasis. If you have any of these changes, alert your doctor about this. Number 10, erectile dysfunction as well as impotence have been described with this drug in post-marketing surveys. Follow up with the doctor if that is the case 
to rule out other causes. Number 11. In less than 1% of cases, it can cause GI symptoms such as constipation, diarrhea, nausea, and stomach pain. They are usually self-limiting and should go away. Number 12. In older adults, it can cause hallucinations, short-term memory problems and confusion. If you are an older adult, start the dose at the lowest dose and your doctor should titrate the dose slowly to avoid side effects. Number 13. Beta blockers can also affect your lipid metabolism, in particular triglycerides and HDL cholesterol. Make sure your doctor checks your lipid profile regularly. Number 14. A beta blocker such as metoprolol are selective beta blockers. Your doctor has to be cautious in severe peripheral vascular disease as it can cause lower extremity pain. If you do have increased leg pain while walking, alert your doctor to this. Beta blockers like metoprolol can be used in mild and moderate peripheral vascular disease. Number 15. In an acute situation, in an acute exacerbation of heart failure, your doctor should not use a beta blocker. He or she can reintroduce the medication once your heart failure is compensated. Number 16. Drug-drug interactions with metropolol and metropolol can interact with a lot of drugs and some of these drugs are listed above. Of, of course, this list is not exhaustive, so talk to your doctor, talk to your pharmacist uh, about possible drug-drug interactions. Number 17. Maybe a very important tip. Never stop this medication suddenly without talking to your doctor, especially at high doses as it can cause an increase of your blood pressure and your heart rate, especially when you suddenly stop it. In people with underlying heart disease, it can also cause chest pain. And if you're interested in other videos, click right here or click right here. Have a good day and think your health. Body response. Is it working? Just do the whole thing again. Why is this remote not working?